Welcome back. This is going to be my full technical analysis of the commodities market and the precious metals market for November 2nd and Monday, November 2nd, 2020. We'll start out by looking at the US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied quite significantly today. And this has had an enormous effect on commodities and also the stock market as a whole, especially also for precious metals. We have passed this point here which was previous resistant the next resistant level is here at 94.7 and if that breaks then we will go towards the 200 moving average um, the technical indicators for uh, the us dollar index are very positive at this point we are going to go uh, significantly higher there is also room to the upside because the rsi is at 58 and the CCI is at the moment also pointing to higher levels. Same goes for the stochastic and same goes for the MACD. We can also look at other charts, for example, the four hour chart or the one hour chart. We can see it here, my G We are in an uptrend. We have been in this uptrend for quite some time, all the way back to, uh, to uh, October uh, 2nd, uh, 21st, this is we have been an uptrend in this market. And at, the, at this moment, the 50 moving average is being, is, um, is major uh, support uh, for the US dollar index. So in order for us to go lower, we have to break this 50, uh, this 50 moving average in the hourly chart. And at this point, we're not doing that. We are going higher and higher at this point. And that, of course, will have a negative effect on other commodities so if you look at oil oil has broken down quite significantly we were trading between 43 dollars and 30 and 36 dollars for a very long time but yesterday we broke this uh, lower support area and today we are also testing these lows. We haven't gotten all the way down towards the uh, $35 range, but at this point, we probably will see a pullback before we go lower. And the reason for that is that if you look at the, if you look at the hourly chart, the four hour chart, we can see that we have flattened out and the distance between the price level and the 50 moving average is quite substantial. And when that happens, we usually um, either trade sideways or we rally to the upside. And if we do rally to the upside, this gives us the opportunity to basically enter the market. And that's what we also include in these analysis is basically possible entries to market. So. Our first possible entry to the market is all the way down here. It's at 36.57. Um, that's the first possible sell. The next possible sell will be here around 37.65. After that, we will head towards the 50 moving average here and this um, resistant area, which is at 38.87. And after that, we will have probably our best entry um, if it even gets there. And that is at $40. I don't expect this market to go higher than $40. I don't even know if that is possible at this point. I guess that when we get to the 50 moving average, if we get there, there will be significant resistance and uh, sellers will come in and, and, um, and try to, to pressure the price down. But we can always have an instant, for example, like we had a few weeks ago, we had a strike in Norway, and we had a storm in the United States that basically made this move to the upside. So that can always happen, or we have a war, which is highly unlikely. But these are possible entries to market in order to sell. Another, not, um, I never um, trade against the trend and at this moment, the trend is to the downside. And therefore, I wait for possible entries to market in order to sell and not to buy. So if you look at natural gas, 
So if you look at our daily chart first, we can see that we have rallied yet again, but we are getting more overstretched than before. We have been here before. This move here is very similar to this move. So what happened here is that we rallied, we traded sideways, and then we basically broke down towards the 50 moving average. And this looks very similar, that we, we rally, we trade sideways for a few days, and then break towards the 50 moving average before going higher. There is no reason to enter this market at this point for a buy or a sell. Um, you could basically sell, but I, as I said, I don't like um, trading against the market. If you're an uptrend, take advantage when basically you have a pullback similar to this. And when you have a downtrend, take advantage when you basically rally, uh, when, when instruments rally, and then you can sell. At this point, technical indicators are about to turn around for this, um, for this market. And possible entries would be, if you look at the Fibonacci retracements, then we have the 50 moving average first. If that breaks, then we have the 38.2 uh, uh, Fibonacci retracement, which, has, which is at 2.64. And then we have all the way down here at the 50 at 2.4. It is highly unlikely that we get down to this level. If we do, then this is an, an enormous uh, opportunity, basically, to buy into this market. But I think that we will see something more of the same, that we will get close to the 50 moving average. And when we do, we will have this area here as support as well, and that we can take advantage of and basically buy into this market. Usually when I, when, I, when I enter the market, I also have a stop loss. And in this case, if I entered here, I would have a stop loss right underneath. And I would basically target the highs here first. So I would target the previous highs because that will act as resistant. And if this basically breaks down significantly more um, and my trade goes badly, then this is basically our our um, our uh, our guarantee that we won't lose too much money so if you look at copper we can see that we continue our decline we have tested the 50 moving average yet again uh, we still have a lot of room to the downside in the rsi is at 49 and we can go all down below uh, 30 so i am not a uh, I know that we have been in an uptrend, but this is very similar to to um, to um, to oil. There's no reason for this market to rally as the world economy is slowing down. The virus basically having havoc on the world economy, and um, and therefore there is no point of expecting a massive increase in demand for copper at this point. The only thing that stands in our way is the 50 moving average. If this breaks, then that is basically a selling opportunity. And what we would target would, first of all, be here. It would be 2.9. That would be our first target. Our second target would be here at 2.8. And after that, we'll have an additional target here. And that is at around 2.78. After that, we fall all the way down to the 200 moving average. So these are all possible entries to sell this market. If these break, then we go down to this level. If this break, we fall down to this level. And if this breaks, then we'll go all the way down to the 200 moving average. No interest in basically buying this because, because of the nature of this commodity. Um, when the world economy is going, doing well, this commodity does well but the world economy is not doing well, and therefore there's not an expectation that this uh, commodity should, um, should rally at any point. So if you look at gold, so gold has tried to rally today. We were, that was expected. We did expect similar moves like this, just weaker. So. We had a massive move to the downside here, traded sideways, 
massive move to the downside, traded sideways, and now we have a, another a fairly big move to the downside and are trading sideways. We will constantly try to rally up towards the 50 moving week average, but at this point, when the US dollar index is appreciating, that has a negative effect on gold, significant effect on gold. So when it starts to put depreciating again, we will see gold rally. So you know, pay attention to the US dollar index. So I don't have any interest of basically selling this. I just want to get this as cheap as possible. So the first resistant area is here at um, 1850 or there above. The next and uh, the next possible entry to this market is around here at 1800 where we previous had resistant and if this completely falls apart we will fall all the way down to the 200 moving average all these three areas are viable entries to a long position for gold they're all are if you take this one it probably isn't you don't get it as cheap as if you do if you get down to 1800 but there's no guarantee that we get to 1800 so what people usually do is that they they invest a little bit here and they invest a little bit here and if you get down here then they will invest uh, a whole lot more so by doing that you technically guarantee that you get a little bit of these of these um, cheaper prices at this point, we probably will go and test the 50 moving average. We look at the technical indicators, they are turning around at this point, especially the CCI. This is a very aggressive move to the upside and we may see prices go uh, a little bit higher. We won't break the 50 moving average at this point. I do believe that we will go lower before we go higher. If we do, then we have this, in, in this resistant area here just above, which will be extremely difficult to get through so therefore i don't expect us while the us dollar index is appreciating that we'll get through this anytime soon but if we do then that is of course also a, a buying opportunity so we look at silver we can see that silver has as well rallied again we have the same um, structure as we do in in gold big uh, breakdown trade sideways big breakdown trade sideways a uh, fairly big breakdown and then trade sideways so here we also have several entry points first of all first of them is here at 21.67 second is around 20 dollars it is around uh, here just above the 50 the 200 moving average around there just at the 200 moving average so both of these are really good entry points for, for a buy position. There's no reason to sell this. Absolutely not. In the long run, this will go higher. It's just a matter of time. Whether or not we do it now, it is possible. There's a lot of resistance above. I would favor uh, pulling back at least to 21.5 or to 20, which will be the best. And we can also look at the Fibonacci retracement for this market. And we can see that the retracements fall uh, quite accurately where these uh, lines are. We can see that this is the first one. This is at 38.2. So this is a possible entry. It is. But you risk that this falls further down for several weeks. After that, we have the bottom here. And then we have the 50 around 20.63. And then we have our uh, uh, the 200 moving average and the $20 uh, dollar level. So all of this, um, this entire area here is a possible entry for a long position. It's just a matter of whether or not you want to take the risk or not. So if you look at Kokoa, we have broken down quite significantly yet again today. And... At this point, I do believe that we are going to go and test these lows. I said in yesterday's video that if we broke this level here, then we would go lower. 
we will go at least to this area here at 2.230. And if that breaks, then of course we go to the very lows. Um, that gives us a entry to this market. It is not a good idea to enter this market right now. We could turn around. That is possible. We can see it right here. We have been in this range several times before and it can break below and then, for example, like here, it broke down below this range and then up again. So if you start selling now, you can basically get stuck and you can get really stuck because we can go all the way to the top and that is a horrible trade. So the best thing to do here is to wait. Wait whether or not this goes all the way to the bottom and that is your perfect entry to buy. And if we rally um, all the way to the top, that's a perfect entry to sell. You could also trade in between this area here. Um, that is possible. It is riskier than just to wait until we get to these highs or lows. So if we look at technical indicators here, they are all looking very negative. There is still room to the downside. And therefore, I do expect us to go uh, a little bit lower down then pull back towards this line here and then go further down. That's what I expect will happen for this market. So look at Platinum. We have broken through the, the 200 moving average. We are trading underneath the 200 moving average. At this point, I think we'll just see more of the same. It looks like this market is getting pressured down by the 50 moving average. It looks like the 50 moving average is going to go down. But there's just too much resistance underneath there. There's just too much resistance here. This entire area, we can basically see something similar to this. It can turn around at any point and head back towards the 50 moving average. And even though we get through that area, we have this area here underneath which also will act as support so i'm not favoring the downside it is possible but i would not enter this market until we basically broke through this level here i would not enter for a sell until we broke through this level here and that basically means that we are going all the way down to 584 where i will basically enter a buying position again Buying positions, we need to clear the 50 moving average in order to get to these levels. The first resistance we'll find is around here, 953. So take profit will be here. Take profit second will be the top here at 1000. So this is a tricky market. It can basically go anywhere at this point. Um, I would technically stay away from this market because there's just not a lot of profit and there's a whole lot of risk. So you look at sugar. So we have broken down quite significantly as we did expect. And at this point, I do believe that we are, well, we can go lower. There is a lot of room to the downside. We're only at 54. So possible entries we can see that this top here will act as resistant and so will the 50 moving average. So getting close to this level here at 0 0.1328 is a possible buying opportunity. Uh, if we get there, it is probably, but the lows here will also be, be support. So here will also be a possible entry. So similar to basically gold and silver and so on, it is possible to enter this market for a buy at this level at 0 0.1377. And the best, probably best entry is at right here at the 50 moving average. No interest basically in shorting this. This is just wait for this market to fall. You can see the technical indicators turning around, especially the CCI will turn around before the other indicators turn around. And that is, you'll see something similar to this. And you can see what basically happened here when this CCI turned around. Just wait for the signal and then it is possible to enter this market. So last but not least, we have wheat. And wheat continues its downfall towards the 50 moving average. 
we will find support here at around 597 and we are going to see whether or not we um, we bounce from there. If we don't bounce from there, we will go towards the 50 moving average here at 573 and both of these areas are, are buying opportunities. You just have to look at the technical indicators first. They are all looking very negative now, meaning don't enter this market at this point. Wait until these uh, these indicators, especially the RSI, gets lower. It's only a 50 at, this mo at the moment. If it gets close to 13, uh, 30, um, then that is much better. And you also see the CCI move around, uh, move to the upside, similar to what it did here. And you see that it basically explodes to the upside very quickly. The, we are in uptrend, and there's no reason to uh, to uh, to short this. Just buy it at as a low price as possible. Take profit if we entered here at the 50 moving average would be around here at 592. And a part other possible take profit would be the highest here of 633. So hope you find this video helpful. Um, you uh, don't have to subscribe to our channel because most of the people that see this are already subscribed to our channel. So good luck and thank you very much.